Hello, happy Marketing Monday. It's Chef Jessica here, and I'm excited to get back into the Marketing Monday. I know that a lot of you have gotten a lot of value out of these, and I love helping you guys. As passionate as I am about helping my chef clients achieve their results, I am just as much, if not more, passionate about helping chefs get their business going and get their business started. And I don't see other chefs as competition. Obviously, I, that's why I have this business. But, you know, I never have um, actually. Even when I first started out, I used to take chefs with me and let them help me. And sometimes I would even pay them um, like $12 an hour. I know it's not a lot, but I would pay them to come with me for a few days so they could really see how it's done because sometimes I'm definitely one of the type of people that you kind of need to see how it's done sometimes and once you see how it's done it makes it so much easier but I'm gonna move that text there um, but honestly it's not as complicated as sometimes we want to make it out to be it's just a matter of kind of getting our rhythm and tweaking things a little bit so anyway today's marketing monday is going to be about strategic partnerships and that's a really important topic for a lot of us um and you know i've had some free calls this past few weeks i did business boosters um, i'm not going to be doing them for a while now because i just don't have the time and um, they're pretty time consuming, but it was helpful for me to really see where people are struggling and where people are at. And I felt like I really was able to help some people. There's some underlying issues that I see with a lot of chefs and, um, underpricing is one of them. Undervaluing is one of them, but that's for another video. Uh, what I really want to talk about today is strategic partnerships. And this is so important because the right strategic partnerships will catapult your business. And so what is a strategic partnership? A strategic partnership is when you really use another business or another person to network your business and to get visibility, to get clients, and really to get your name out there. And some people feel like, you know, they can align with someone and that should bring in them clients, but you really need to look at the potential of the person that you are aligning with. Now, if you align with the right person, you can potentially fill your all of your uh, empty schedule with that one strategic partnership. An example of this would be uh, about five years ago, I partnered with a local doctor here who had written a book and he wrote a book on uh, how to basically lose weight and really reduce many health problems. Um, his diet though was so difficult. I mean, he had like no salt, no fat. I mean, it, I can't even remember all the rules, but it was so difficult for people to do that. He also had his own gym here. So he had a gym, he had a book, he had a full clientele of people, um, of people who really were in a higher income bracket so they could also afford a personal chef. And so when we met and we aligned, it was like kismet because, you know, his clients needed me. They needed that support. They could not do it on their own. But I cannot just align with any doctor that wrote a book because that's not necessarily gonna be in alignment. So when I aligned with him, we did several things. We had cooking classes, we had um, demos, we had speaking engagements. Um, and then ultimately, like it was just a referral network but for many years, I had a lot of clients through that doctor. So a strategic partnership like that is very effective, but you have to look at the, you know, the uh, alignment. So that doctor obviously had potential clients who could be able to hire a personal chef. Not every doctor is going to have clients that can hire a personal chef. And let's just face it, our clients need to be able to afford our services. And one of the things that I've seen is people aligning strategic partnerships with people who cannot afford our services. For example, a personal trainer. A personal trainer could potentially 
be a good strategic alignment, but not always, not always. Um, uh, many people hire a personal trainer just for like a month and they just want to kind of get into a good routine. They're not necessarily um, looking for long-term services. A lot of personal trainers offer specials. You want to really focus on clients who can afford your services long-term. And what does that mean? That means that they have to have an income that supports your income. Now, you don't necessarily need to get all of your income from one client, but if, even if you wanna get $1,000 a month off of one client, you need to make sure that client can afford your services. So when you're looking at strategic partnerships, you wanna look at higher end strategic partnerships. So you could go into companies that have higher paid employees. For example, we have a lot of tech companies, um, you know, where the, the employees are just worked and they don't have time, they're exhausted, but they're, they want to eat healthy, they want support. Those are companies that you can align with. Um, you could potentially align with a housekeeping service if that housekeeping service was aligned with high income potential clients. Some of the ways that you can find those clients is really doing your research and looking to see if you were a wealthy person, who would you hire? And sometimes I think that is where the chefs I'm coaching kind of lose focus is they cast this wide net and they want to target everyone and then what happens is they reach no one. And if you have never hired a high-end service, it's gonna be really hard for you to put yourself in the frame of mind of somebody who would. So you really have to put yourself in the frame of mind of your clients. Now, people who hire high-end services, they don't want the cheapest service. They don't want that. They're not going to try to find somebody who is the lowest price. They want somebody they can trust. They want somebody who can work with them and help them. They want somebody who knows what they're doing. They want somebody who's confident. And so these are things that you really can help your clients with and align with people who help those same type of people. So a personal trainer or a doctor, um, they may not be the best strategic partnerships for you unless they have clients who could potentially also be your clients. Another strategic partnership I use often is companies with wellness programs. Now, if you go into a company with wellness program, oftentimes they will pay you to come in and talk about their services. And by doing this, you get to literally make a pitch and be paid for it. So that is why it's such a great idea to go in and talk to people with wellness organizations so or wellness programs. So um, you can, research areas, uh, research companies in your area that have uh, wellness organizations or wellness programs and align with those strategic partnerships. But you don't wanna waste your time working with partners who are not going to bring you clients. And an example of this would be like a networking group. If you've been in a networking group and you're not getting any clients from it, it's probably a waste of your time. Now I'm not saying all networking groups are a waste of your time, but in general, people don't see a networking group, a personal chef and think, oh, a personal chef's in my networking group, let me hire her, or let me refer clients to her. It's about finding people who need your services, people who have a problem, whether they wanna lose weight, whether they wanna eat healthier, they have picky family members, um, they're very busy. So you want to be results focused. And how are you, those people gonna be finding you? How are you going to be visible in front of those people? So who can you align with in your area that can really strategically help you find clients? And that's something you want to think about. So I would love for you to tell me in the, in the comments, who is somebody you have either already strategically partnered with and gotten clients through that partnership, or who can you reach out to? That's something that you want to think about.